What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a deep look at health regeneration in Modern Warfare, as well as the Quick Fix perk and the Stimshot Tactical. This is a pretty straightforward topic to cover, so let's just hop right into it. And the first thing we're going to look at is the base healing time, assuming you're not using Quick Fix or Stimshot in Modern Warfare. Basically, the way it works is the same way it's always worked in Call of Duty. When you take damage, there is a delay before you start healing. This delay is 6 seconds, which is relatively slow for a Call of Duty game. It's not the slowest we've ever seen, but it is a little bit on the slow side. It's worth noting that if you take more damage within this 6 second delay, it will actually reset that timer, so you have to wait 6 seconds from the last damage that you received. Now after that 6 seconds is up, this is when you actually start healing, and this is actually a very fast healing time at this point at about 1.4 seconds, assuming you took a ton of damage in the first place. If you only took a little bit of damage, you'll heal even faster. But with my testing, I was shot in the foot by an HDR, which deals 91 damage. So if you're taking that much damage, it will take 1.4 seconds after the six second delay, meaning our total base healing time is 7.4 seconds, assuming you've taken a lot of damage. Now, 7.4 seconds is a very long time in Call of Duty terms. A lot can happen in 7.4 seconds, especially on some of the smaller maps like Shoot House or Shipment, for instance. So this is where Quick Fix comes into the equation. This is a perk that I often don't run, but I wanted to run some tests on it to see if it is actually worth running. And it turns out when using the Quick Fix perk, it doesn't always help with your healing time. It only helps with your healing time if you're getting kills or playing the objective. But let's have a look at what happens when you get a kill after you take damage when you have that quick fix perk on. What happens here is it actually cuts your healing delay in half. So now it's just a three second healing delay. And then your healing time after that delay is the same as it was before, which is very fast. And this means your total base healing time, assuming you get a kill after taking damage while using quick fix, is roughly 4.4 seconds. Again, that can vary slightly depending on how much damage you've taken, but that's about as long as it's gonna take you to heal. This is a really solid reduction to your healing time, going from about 7.4 down to 4.4. That is a very noticeable difference, which is great, especially in those situations where you just barely win a gunfight, the enemy almost got you, but you managed to come out on top. You're gonna to be getting back in the fight a lot faster while using Quick Fix. So that's the killing side of Quick Fix. There's also the objective side of Quick Fix. And what this does is it just reduces your overall total healing time. This has an effect on the healing delay as well as your healing time. It's best to just look at the total here to give you guys an indication of how it works because it is quite complex. The description for the Quick Fix perk isn't fully accurate based on what I can tell because it says that it just helps re your regeneration rate, not your delay, but it does absolutely help with your delay as well. But in general, if you are standing on an objective, keep in mind the state of that objective is irrelevant. You can be defending that objective, you can be capturing that objective, it can be neutral, it can be held by the enemy team, you could be contesting the objective. It doesn't matter as long as you are on that objective, like a flag and domination, the hard point, or the headquarters area, as long as you are on an active objective. Your total overall healing time, including the delay, is cut down by about a third. So in the situation where I'm being shot in the foot by an HDR and receiving 91 damage, instead of 7.4 seconds healing time, I now have a 4.9 second total heal time. And once again, this is a great improvement to your healing time. It's not quite as good as getting a kill while using Quick Fix, so that's the first thing to realize when using Quick Fix. You're better off getting a kill to trigger that heal time than playing the objective. But in both cases, your healing time is helped out quite noticeably by Quick Fix, which is awesome. Now there is one form of objective though that I was really hoping would work with Quick Fix, but it turns out it doesn't. This is in Kill Confirmed. Collecting tags, whether that be an enemy tag or a friendly tag, does not seem to interact with Quick Fix at all. So if you take damage and then collect a tag, it doesn't trigger your healing any faster. It's going to be the same as if you didn't collect that tag. I guess I can kind of understand why, because in Kill Confirmed you could just be picking up tags like crazy and constantly triggering the heal time, but at the same time I think that would be kind of a nice bonus for Kill Confirmed, and it would really encourage people to move around a lot more if they were using Quick Fix. But with that, that does pretty much cover it for the Quick Fix perk, it's fairly straightforward like I said at the beginning. 
Now we want to move on to the next thing that can impact your healing time, and this is the Stimshot Tactical Equipment. So with this, you spawn in with two of these pieces of equipment, whereas with, I think, all of the other equipment, you only get one of them. Maybe there's another exception. I don't really use too many other pieces of equipment. But with the Stim, you get two of them. And the way this works is when you take damage, you can pop that stim shot and it will trigger your healing time and that heal time will be very, very fast. Now, while using that stim shot, this takes roughly two seconds. And during this time, you can't aim down sight with your weapon, but you can still hip fire and you also can't mantle on objects. And that's something that you really have to pay attention to. That's gotten me killed quite a few times because I know that I can hip fire, but I don't realize like, oh, I'm not allowed to mantle onto that. And then I get myself killed in a stupid way because I've trapped myself. But just know that is one of the downsides of using stim shots. You're kind of useless in some ways for about two seconds. But the overall healing time while using stim shot is just 2.5 seconds. So this is like practically instant while using that. And this means that by far the most effective way to get back in the fight after taking damage is using stim shot. However, of course, you do have that big limitation with stim shot, unlike quick fix, you only get two stim shots per life, whereas with quick fix, it's helping you all the time as long as you're getting those kills or playing the objective. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's really quick breakdown video. I know a lot of people have been wondering about quick fix, and I personally have been wondering about it as well. As for my thoughts on this, I do think Quick Fix is a little bit underrated, but at the same time, it competes in the same perk slot as EOD. As a result, I honestly don't see myself switching to Quick Fix too often. However, this does make me a lot more inclined to use Specialist because this will allow me to use EOD as well as Quick Fix. So that's my opinion on Quick Fix, but as for Stim Shots, you guys probably already know what my opinion is because if you watch my gameplays, I'm almost always using Stim Shots. I do feel this is the best piece of tactical equipment for aggressive players. If you want to get back in the fight as soon as possible after taking damage, Stim Shot is absolutely the way to go. Plus, the fact that you spawn with two of them instead of just like one concussion grenade, for instance, just makes it that much better. And this is why I highly encourage you to try out Stimshot if you haven't already, if you want to be more of an aggressive player. If you're super defensive, Stimshot probably isn't your best bet. But if you want to be pushing, I would definitely go for that one. But with that, I'd like to know in the comment section below, after seeing this testing, what do you guys think about Quick Fix? Do you think this is a really valuable perk to be using, or still not really good enough to convince you to use it? And also, what are your thoughts on the stim shot? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.